Bayern Munich were playing this big match versus Man City in the Champions League tomorrow. And let's just go into what Tuchel's lineup will be, what I hope Bayern's lineup will be. And I'll actually be at that match tomorrow. I'm in Munich right now, so I'm excited for the match. If you're in Munich and you want to get in touch, let me know, send me an email. I'll leave my email in the comments below if anyone wants to get in touch. But let's get straight into my predicted lineup or my favorite lineup. So this two promoting wasn't ruled out by Tuchel in his press conference, so I expect he'll start up front. And if two promoting starts, it's got to be Muller in behind him in that number 10 role here. If if I see Musiala there and two promoting is playing, I will lose it because that is totally not correct. The one good game of Tuchel's reign so far has been that win versus Dortmund. That was the one game where Tuchel was playing with Chupamoting and Muller. Not his fault that Chupamoting has been injured, but if he can't see that, I'm drastically losing hope for him, to be honest. Muller must play. And even if Chupamoting doesn't play tomorrow, my hot take is that Matthias Tell should play. No Serge Gnabry, no Muller up front, no Musiala. False nine nonsense. I want to see Matthias Tell in that attacking midfield position. On the wings, it'll either be Coman and Sané or Musiala swapping for one of them. So in this lineup, I have Musiala swapping for Sané and this is what we kind of saw in that second half versus Hoffenheim where Musiala was playing kind of like a left attacking mid slash left forward role and I think he could interlink well with Muller in this role and then Sané provides width out wide but we could also see Kerman there but I repeat what we don't want to see we don't want to see Muller on the bench please no I just want to see Muller playing in this match especially since I'm there he's my favorite player as well anyway in midfield um Tuchel I keep trying to say Nagelsmann Tuchel put um put Cancelo said Cancelo would be playing as a fullback but could this be mind games? I think it could be. Maybe Cancelo plays in midfield like the second half versus Hoffenheim instead of Goretzka. And that also provides Musiala the ability to roam inside as Cancelo can go on those dribbles, but also allows Davies to play on that left outside, providing width, and then Kimmich holding the base. But Cancelo is also a great ball player. He would be able to whip those crosses into Chupo and Muller which will be a key factor of Bayern's play, I think. In defence, I guess the late open Meccano provide is the expected. Although I think we could... Um, what I would actually want to see is provide coming into centre centre-back and then the central, like right centre-back and then Masrawi going to right back or maybe Cancelo going to right back. I, I don't really want to see open Meccano because he was so injury pro, so error prone, sorry, versus City and so he, he just wasn't good versus... Hoffenheim also. But going back to Chupa and Muller, I think the key, the only chance Bayern have of winning this game is including those two players. If they're not there, I don't think Bayern have any chance. The chances are very small as it is. But if we have Cancelo, say he's not playing the left centre mid role, but say he's playing left back and Davies is replaced by Gretzka, for example. Cancelo will still be cutting inside and whipping those balls into the box. And if we have two target players to aim for in Chupamoting and Muller, maybe, just maybe, we have a chance that we'll actually be able to score. We saw Muller was getting into decent positions like that versus Hoffenheim, so we could see more of the same um, if Chupa is there to partner him because they act as a foil, they help each other out uh, so much. And really, Tuchel's missing the point. If he if Chupo comes back and Muller doesn't play, I guess I can see maybe Muller not playing. Say Chupo is not fit and he wants to play Gnabry and Musiala and Coman and Sane like the first leg where he said they did well. They didn't do that well in my opinion, but that's somewhat very tiny bit, a very tiny bit reasonable. But there's no reasonability, reasonability about not playing Muller if Chupo is fit. And as I said, if Chupo is not fit, play Matthias Tell, because Tell, when he came on versus Hoffenheim, he's at least chesting the ball down. You whip it into him and he competes for it. Unlike 5'9", 5'8", Gnabry. 
tell Chupa Merting they're big players, they're big physical presences, who really can receive the ball and really um, can play off the ball and then get others involved in play. To to be fair, it might be an open game, so maybe we should see Coman and Sani. But the problem is against this Man City team, we are playing. Um, we're three goals down, so Man City can just continue to defend, absorb, and hit us on the counter tag. The onus is on us to score goals every single time, which is why I don't think a Coman, Sane, Gnabry counter attacking system like they tried in the first leg, like worked pretty well allegedly in the first leg. I don't think that's gonna work even to as good a standard as the first leg, which was okay but not great. Simply put, we need crosses into the box. We need Muller Chupo there. We need Cancelo to be on his A game. I think Cancelo needs to play for us to win, either in midfield or in defence, because in defence, Davies is not going to have that space this game to run in behind and stuff. It'll be Cancelo whipping those balls in, which may be one of our biggest attacking catalyst triggers to score goals. In, in short, we need everyone on their game though. We need Summer on his game. We need the defense to be on their game. Basically, if we can see it, the tie is done, we are finished. So it's imperative that we score. We score early, we get back into the tie. I'll be there, I'm looking forward to it. So let me know if we have any hope. Um, but this is how I would line Bayern up in the game.